struck him on 42nd Street, just east of McKinley Avenue, and the driver did not stick around to help the boy. The 11 year old flew 30 feet in the air, and neighbors came running out to help. One of them got the license plate. KCAL 9's Candace Crone spoke with the victim's sister tonight. Home security cameras captured an ice cream truck driving down the South LA neighborhood. Right behind it, an 11 year old boy running to get a sweet treat. As he crossed the street, an SUV slammed into him. We stopped the video before he's hit. The impact so bad he was thrown 30 feet. Uh, bruises, scratches. Um, they're saying that he might have hurt his left lung, which is why he's under observation, because he has air and liquid in his lung. Delcas Portillo says her little brother Anthony is still in the hospital recovering. The crash happened along 42nd near McKinley Avenue Wednesday afternoon. What upset the little boy's family most is you can see the driver get out to check on the child. But after a few seconds, police say he just took off and didn't bother to call for help. Neighbor Mariano Ornelas knew he had to take action. Yeah, we all came running out. Like, what happened? Because there's people screaming. The first thing I did was I'm going to take a picture of the license plate. That's the only thing that came to my mind. Investigators ran the plates and learned the light colored Chevy Tahoe was reported stolen days earlier. Relatives are thankful little Anthony will recover. They say the unfortunate incident is a reminder for parents and kids about being extra cautious while crossing the street. To be honest, it's like more awareness for little kids to be careful when they're trying to get ice cream or to go out, especially with their parents. Like, it's just terrible. Police have a very vague description of the suspect. All they know at this point is that he's in his 30s and at least 5'9". If you have any information on this crash or on the stolen SUV, you're urged to call LAPD. In South LA, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News. Tonight, the LAPD